Archangel, and my leadership insight for you today is entrepreneurs, from jack of all trades to master of one. Whether you're an entrepreneur with a billion dollar business and thousands of employees, or under a million dollars in revenue and 10 employees, you've had to perform multiple functions as your business grows. But even as you successfully maneuver these challenges and the business grows, you must evolve from being a jack or a jill of all trades, therefore performing functions that might exceed your capability and capacity, to becoming a master of one, performing work that aligns with your expertise and your purpose. There are several signs when it's time for you as an entrepreneur to let go of one of your roles or trades. The first is when someone else can perform it faster than you with better results or when you become frustrated or bored with the process. Another one is when more important work requires your time. And when you may recognize that something isn't working, but aren't necessarily sure what to do about it. And when others suggest that you hire out a role or a trade, you make the following excuses. Excuses like, oh, no one can do it like me. I can do it faster because I'm more familiar with it. Or, I can't afford to pay someone to do this, or it will take too long for someone else to understand the business, or someone else will try to change our process. They won't appreciate the value we add by doing it this way. And the best one is, it just doesn't take that much effort. One of your most valuable experiences is understanding how other companies operate. If your professional work experience consists primarily of running your own business, this is an opportunity to learn different methods and to bring in subject matter experts who understand the typical challenges that organizations face as they evolve. You can take several important steps at this juncture. The first is hire professionals to perform the most important work in your company. The second purchase fractional or shared services from an independent contractor. The third, identify trusted advisors or consultants to provide input on challenging issues. The fourth, form an alliance with other entrepreneurs who have similar business models but may work in a different market, or they may have a complementary business in the same market. All of these options provide an opportunity for you to step back and gain a different perspective on how your processes operate because you're no longer embedded in them. You're no longer too close to them. You'll gain a thorough evaluation and understanding of the options and the implications for your business to accomplish its objectives. As you grow your business, remember why you started it in the first place. Did you have a passion for the product or the service? or for entrepreneurship, or maybe a passion for solving a problem or meeting the needs of a particular customer base. This helps you to understand how your role should evolve. Whether you continue as the CEO or the chief technology officer or the chief visionary officer or the chief stockholder, master your one role that ensures the success of the company. Thanks for listening.